There's a place in Kowloon that's a haven for artists. It used to be a slaughterhouse for cattle. Now it's been transformed into an art village where local artists can showcase and create artwork. Uh, guys, you can, you, you've got that sort of farm vibe. It's got this farm vibe, you know. It's so cool. I love what they've done with it. It used to be, you know, where they slaughter cat, like cattle. Now, it's where they create art in a space for the locals. Look at this. I think this is like a... Like there's pictures here of a festival and... Wow. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Oh, what's your name? Huh? Sisi. Sisi, yeah. I'm Sig. Wow. Is this like is this an art studio you have here? Uh, actually we are um, a platform, actually an, an um, organization for community art project. A community project? Yeah, so wow. it's not only a studio, uh -huh. but we are open to public. To pop and what what is it exactly that you you do here? Uh, actually, we uh, have uh, artist in residency program here, and okay. then we have uh, artists uh, for three months, mm -hmm. and then they will stay here and they play with the children, and then see because you know children is the creative one, so we wow. want to communicate with the children by play. That's so inspiring. So guys, like they have artists who come and stay here for three months, and then so the artists can they can then play with the kids, yeah. right? Because I understand when, when you're a kid, you are just a natural artist. Yeah. And then you know, every artist has their own material and their media. So it's, yeah. it's funny to, to play with kids. With kids. Yeah. So I take it this is the play area with the kids. Yeah. Is that and correct? Then we have also tools, two walls. For, tools yeah. here. Oh yeah. So the, these are the tools that the artists yeah. use to, yeah. to create. Yeah. Are you, an, are you an artist yourself? Uh, I graduate from a uh, visual arts um, academy. Yeah. Mm, what did you um, What did you specialize in? Uh, jewelry. Ah, jewelry. Yeah, so small metal. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, this village is so amazing. Yeah. If you're an artist, you must love love it because you're surrounded by other local artists yeah. who you could maybe share ideas. Yes. Do you feel that? Like, yeah, and also the community. Mm. Yeah, I think Tokong is a very uh, different community in Hong Kong. Mm. And then as a um, artist village, there's some another program, and then we have uh, performing arts, and then galleries, mm. and then some um, individual artists here. So mm. it's cool. wow, what an inspiring place, yeah. Cici! Thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. You're yeah. so inspiring. Yeah. You guys are awesome. So Kong is going to show us some calligraphy right now. The best calligrapher in Hong Kong. How did we get so lucky to stumble upon him today? This is awesome. Kong, that is beautiful. Got to get a photo of this. This is amazing. What a magician. That is that amazing. How beautiful. Wow, Kong. Kong, that is that is absolutely amazing. I'm blown away, but how did you do that? You didn't use a template, you just freehand. Wow. Guys, that's so impressive. Look at... No, of course, you're the best calligrapher in Hong Kong, so... Calligraphy lover. Wow, <laughs> that is amazing. And, and where are, 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 are you based here? Um, uh, you can see, yeah, I'm based on, based here. In, um... the, and do you, live, you, do you live in the area as well? Um, no, I'm living in Hong, uh, Hong Kong Island. Okay. Wow, look at that. 
beautiful, beautiful. Let's just uh, let's capture that. Kong, that is amazing. Thank you so much for showing us this and and uh, for for being so pleasant. Wow, what a place! Like what 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 an amazing community, right? <laughs> yeah, the uh, um, Caribbean port is a good yeah. place, a the, good place to create and a good place to. What makes it such? What makes it such an amazing place to create? Do you think? Is it because you're surrounded by other inspiring creatives? Um, I think the, the building and and this community and a lot of artists staying here. Mm. So I think it, we intercommunicate uh, and uh, interact mm. with, with other, other artists. That's mm. a very important. Uh, um, wow. Factor to, to me. Blown away, Kong. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So so nice to meet you. Thank you. And you, madam, so nice to meet you. Thank you so, so much for creating this for us. Wow. All right. I don't know how. To, can I take this home? <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, I think it's uh, too, too dark. No, it's great. It's great. All right. We're just going to have a look around some more, yeah, Kong. Sure, sure, All right. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Amazing. Wow, oh, what a place. Look at this, installations everywhere, statues, paintings. So guys, this particular workshop is um, actually Pingo. This is, this is his workshop. Um, and he's saying earlier, most of the work here are actually done by kids, like the ones you see here. And his, his particular artwork, uh, these ones here and the one uh, at the back, which I'm going to go and have a look. But it's such an amazing workshop. It's just like so eccentric. I mean, look at him. He's so eccentric, right? He looks awesome. And uh, look, <laughs> uh, wow. It's just such an interesting place to to be in, you know, to explore. So one of Pingo's uh, friend, who is also an artist, is just going to show us something. This is how uh, traditional Chinese way of creating art. May I try? May, may, may I try? Okay! Try? <laughs> Whoa! Really? This is awesome! I'm gonna do a portrait of the man himself, Pingo. Yeah. You look handsome! So guys... <laughs> wow! Wow, what a place! What, a, what an amazing place! And a really fun fun village to visit everybody is just, is just welcome it's like you can go into any room and talk to the artists and really enjoyable place to visit today has just been such a whirlwind of fun discovering contemporary art and getting to know a little closer the art of the locals here in Hong Kong in such a raw and unfiltered way and what I got from that what I learned from that is like just don't take things too seriously don't think too deep about things just enjoy them and sometimes we think too deep about things and it's absolutely pointless you know and it's kind of like discovering Hong Kong <laughs> 